Hello, I'm Dr. Rod Rock and this is 3 Minute Ed. Today I want to explore with you keen mind sights on envisioning and learning organizations. Simon Sinek is one of the leading thinkers on learning organizations. And he says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And what you do simply proves what you believe. This makes sense when you really think about it. And this diagram is what Cynic uses to really drive home his point. The why is at the center of an organization's. It's very clear our why, whether we take time to make it clear or think about it or not. And the why drives the how and the what. The people who have most influenced my thinking on learning organizations, my whys, if you will, are one, Peter Senge. And he says, and I think this is such a profound thought, transformational change is about deep systemic change. What is most systemic is actually most personal. So if you spend a few minutes thinking about that, what is most systemic is actually most personal. That really gets at your values and how those are reflected in the organization along with everyone else's and how those personal values can manifest themselves. And when people are brought to think about those, then those values drive the organization. They become the why. And I love these quotes from Peter Senge in terms of deepening this idea of a learning organization. Another person who has really influenced my thinking is Martin Seligman, the founder of Positive Psychology. And this quote was in his book, Flourish. He, it said, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. And in his work, along with others, they found that the keys to well-being are in these six elements, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, achievement, and vitality. And in my thinking, when you add these things together, when you have positive emotions, when you're engaged, when you have positive relationships, when you have meaning, when you have vitality, you achieve. It's an equation to me. And here at the bottom is a link to some to literature, research on positive psychology, including its work in schools. This is very informative to me and influential, and I'm gonna share more with you in a later edition of Three Minute Ed. Another key th thought leader for me is Ron Richart, and he speaks of what are the long-term effects of a child's educational experience? What do they take with them many years after they've left the schoolhouse? The residuals, if you will. I think this is critically important for us to consider, just like in the well-being literature, who are our children 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now? Who are they as citizens, as parents, as contributors, as thought leaders? What have they taken with them? Very influential to me in my thinking of learning organizations. And then this idea of Scott Barry Kaufman. He says we need a new theory of intelligence, one that takes into account a child's passions, personal goals, as well as their abilities. He believes that the more we engage and are motivated to achieve, the more that increases our actual abilities. And this makes complete sense when you stop to think about it. And as educators, giving children opportunities to engage with their passions becomes our why, our purpose, our obligation, if you will. These are the things that really drive my thinking when I consider how I want a learning organization that I lead 
to feel what I want it to produce and why it exists. What do you think?